Good morning! Right there. Good morning! Did you guys check out the cricket video? Or the, the chisel video with crickets in it? The crickets were getting louder and louder and louder. I used this new microphone to make the video and I have to keep the garage door open or else it gets really, 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 really echoey in here. And hopefully that'll change more with more, hope, hopefully that will change with the more crap that I put on the walls. Do you notice I got some new shirts? Well, probably just one that you've seen. The um, chisel video, I wore this uh, nice rack shirt. You see the, see the rack in there? That's a, that's a lumber rack and it says nice rack underneath it because cause that's a rack. See it? Nice rack. And then, and then I got some stool sample. Get it? Stool sample? Two stools? Stool sample? I don't think anybody's going to want to buy a shirt that says stool sample and walk around with a stool sample on their shirt. But I thought it was funny, so I'm going to. As a matter of fact, I wore this at the gas station the other day and the lady behind the counter laughed at me, so I guess mission successful on that. And then one more that I doubt anybody ever will purchase, but I thought it was funny too. Spacebar triple click G for component. Enter. So big shout out and thanks as well to all those who have purchased shirts on my little online shirt shop thingy. It does help and I very much appreciate it. I wrote an article on my planner and my planner setup. So uh, those of you who are interested and haven't already seen it, you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description below or a link to it here on my website if you're watching it on my website. But I've also um, just put together an article for my table saw and I've got to get some pictures on it still, so I don't know when it's going to be out, but within the next I don't know, week or two. Later this week, I am going to take probably two or three days to completely shut off social media and shut off emails and focus 100% on my website. I have to change some stuff around to make it a little bit more... A little bit more advertisement friendly without being too intrusive. And I, that may sound kind of bad, but... Just to be honest with you, uh, this is my full-time gig now is this website and uh, YouTube, so I have to make my website a little bit more revenue friendly and you know I don't charge for any of my plans or anything like that so I hope you guys understand that that's how I make my money. Upcoming projects, I've got, as a matter of fact me and my wife actually last night uh, on the phone we put together a list of like 26 different things that I want to build and stuff that I want to get done for around the house. So I've got a lot of stuff to do that's um, going to be house stuff, but I still want to make some shop projects. There's a couple of shop projects that I need to uh, get done for around here in the shop, and I'm going to rearrange the shop a little bit. The, the table saw is actually going to go on the back wall where the bandsaw used to be, and it's actually going to be going that way. And where the table saw is now, up against this wall, is going to be the miter saw station. And the reason being is because the miter saw, the arm of the miter saw takes up so much space behind it, you can't exactly put it 100% on the wall. You're still going to be pushed out a little bit. And that space behind it is pretty much dead space to the left or the right. So if I could optimize at least one of those spots of dead space, that would be awesome. So it's going to go on this wall over here. And one of those dead space areas is actually going to be the lumber rack. So that's going to take up half of it. And then maybe on that back corner where the jigs are now, I'll put um, some type of sheet good storage or somewhere in that area. So I'm trying to optimize wasted space by moving the miter saw station over there once I build it. And then, um, of course, putting the table saw on the back wall. And I think the... Back, the lighting on the, that back wall is actually the best, so where I'm doing most of the stuff, is, which is on the table saw, that would be pretty good. So as I said in a previous video, the next project video will be a cabinet door video, how I make the tongue and groove cabinet doors. You don't need a router, you don't need a fancy router table, fancy joinery bits for the router. 100% uh, of it is done on the table saw with a standard table saw blade, and I'm actually going to use a dado stack for half of it, for the tongue part of it. but Technically speaking, you could use your table saw blade for the entire process. So if you don't have a router table, you don't have a dado stack, and you want to make some uh, decent cabinet doors, then that would be a video for you. Or if you just want to watch my stuff and show your support, then that would be a video for you. So I mentioned I was going to start giving away some of my tools so long as you guys paid shipping if you wanted them. 
And I thought, you know what, that's pretty damn stupid. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay shipping. It's not gonna be that much. So it's gonna be 100% free to you. And they are used tools, but they work just fine. So the first one is this Hitachi Random Orbital Sander. And it's got a brand spanking new hook and loop pad on the bottom of it. The reason why I no longer use it is it vibrates just a little bit more than my liking. So I got something else, but it works and works just fine if you are interested in this then fill out the form below. It's 100% free to you. So my dust collector, it is, man, I'm kind of bumming about this. It was absolutely perfectly set up in the apartment shop because I could exhaust outside and I got the vast majority of the chips in the trash can below, but all the finer stuff didn't really matter because I was exhausting it outside, pointing it down at the grass and just blowing it onto the grass, which worked out great. But now here in the garage shop, I can't exhaust outside. I'm not cutting any holes in my walls. I'm not gonna do that. Um, so I don't know what exactly I'm going to do. I, with the door open, I can kind of run the hose around the corner and exhaust like I normally have been. But with the garage door shut, I can't run it at all. So it's starting to get a little bit more dusty in here than I like and it's bugging my allergies and I don't want it to be dragged throughout the house. So. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm leaning a little bit towards um, just breaking down and buying a, um, a somewhat decent cyclone setup. Not like a huge $3,000 craziness thing, but um, something that has an actual canister filter on it that I can run with the garage door shut. So if any of you guys out there have a decent cyclone setup in your shop, uh, nothing incredibly expensive. Um, I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. I don't want to do any homemade custom, you know, modification engineering thing on it. I have no ambition to um, make any type of custom dust collector. I just want the damn thing to work and I'm tired of getting dust in my house. So, um, what's your thoughts and opinions on yours if you do have one? The Detroit Lions are three and one, baby. You know what that means? Three and one for the Detroit Lions. That means we're gonna, we're gonna finish the season losing seven of the last eight and uh, missing the playoffs. So I'm looking forward to that. I can't think of anything else to say, so see you later.